Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, hold on, okay, I did it. I will be reacting really to episodes three and four of My Happy Marriage. Let's go ahead and get started with episode three. In three, two, one, go. Wait, nope. Take two. In three, two, one, go. There we go. Netflix. Everything with you, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Ma'am, why not? Oh my God. <laughs> God, Lord, Jesus, help me. Don't have the cutest first date. Mm 
And besides, this is your first date. We gotta make you look pretty. Now look at yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me not, let me not, let me not, let me not, let me not. Mm -hmm. The things I want to say, but I have to keep them in my Well, remember, you know, no one's ever really asked for these things before. Why don't you just walk with her and, you know. It's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> He's so fucking perfect, oh my
But how can you be so sure about that, though? You are a cruel, cruel man. Can concern, concern you. Such a ass out. Oh my God. lecture you or anything he's trying to tell you that you don't need to do anything Whoever is playing her, you doing a damn good job on her because she really making me hate her. Of course, but her dad treated her like crap. He go many time. <laughs> he got a face. Ah! <laughs> He's so fucking hot. I need him. I need him. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Thank you.
Right? Like, how do you... <laughs> Is right. But even if you do tell him, I still think he'll accept you. It's not about the fact that you have a gift or not. It's about the feeling that he has with you. And besides, that's a man. That man would... Fine-ass motherfucking man! <laughs> And he's gonna find out. And I think he's gonna be fine with that. And, and such. Because, yes, a typical guy would literally want to lash out on her. But him... That's a fine ass man. He's gonna be different. I can feel it. <laughs> right? So you accept it. And just because he's giving it to you does not mean he's asking for anything. <laughs> That could lead into for fossil. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want you just for your money and everything that you have. For now, you say that. No. Right there. That's a luck. A fucking luck. <laughs> She has a gift.
Damn, that was hot. The first date. It's so cute. It's so, so, so cute. Like, oh my god. You just, oh my god, you're just happy. Lovely feels like a oh, love just, uh, and too much. The also the fact is that he's getting her kimonos and a brand new comb. Even though I, she's gonna definitely keep the comb that reminds her of her mother, because of course it's a sentimental value item to her, and it's very important to her. And I think he really. Me thinks that for her and so I love that if he really is like yes you can still have this even though knowing you I think you will still use something that is your mother's or that your mother gave you which is still sweet once again a man a man <laughs> just oh my god but the fact that the dad Mio's dad is such an ass. I mean, seriously, I, as someone who just finished watching three and four of Sugar Apple Fairy Tale and Jonas being the dick that he was, what is wrong with men and the evil bad guys in these series? He, whether it's like a guy around the same age as the protagonist or just, you know, the offspring or a family member just hating her. The the the, the freaking heroine for no fucking reason and such. Now, my other thing, I will say this. Like, okay, so Mio's mom or Mio's family, um, Mio's mom, family, also had powers. And, of course, I'm guessing Mio's mom was the last one just to get powers. Now, what if, in some way, shape, or form, even though Mio does not have the same powers as her younger sister, what if she does have her mom's powers and abilities and such, and maybe she, um, excuse me, she can't use them until she's, like, right of age or just something? Maybe. I'm not sure about that because there is still a lot of unanswered questions on the, besides you, we're only on episode three, and I think this is, what, a 13-episode series? So, maybe. I could be reading a little too much into that. But, yeah, it's just something else is special about Mio besides, you know, of her personality, who she is as a woman. She is the, she's the plain Jane. She is the girl next door besides the popular one, aka her fucking sister, fuck her. Um... And so the fact is, like, yes, even when he is falling head over heels up with her. And I love the fact that he is like, I need to look up so much about her because I still have so many un unanswered questions about her specifically. But he now knows going into the research and learning more about her, especially how her wounds are super, super cut deep. And it is really going to take time for her to be comfortable around him or like because like right now she is comfortable around him but there are moments of course as he said even with the previous two episodes yes of course she does apologize too much and I get that I, I know people I'm sometimes also like that as well where I apologize or I'm a little too it depends on my mood and such sometimes I can be a little too honest um and such and so I mean there was a conversation my mom and I had with one of her co-worker uh, we were talking about a situation that involved her and her co-workers and she had told me that she feels like her co-workers thinks that she's always bragging about things and I'm like but people everybody does that everybody brags about something and such we all do it you may not think you do it but we all fucking do it and such and I, I even told her, I was like, if it's to the point like that where they think you're over bragging on that, then they are a little too much, little too sensitive. And if they're like that around you, imagine how they're like around other people bragging about things. That's like, like okay. I, and I try not to brag about like the things that I have because, I, you know, I think about what people don't have and such. And that's why I, I always say I'm not better than anybody else. I, I treat people the way that I'm always going to be treated and such regardless and stuff i'm not gonna be over here sitting like oh my god look at this oh my god look at whatever else i got and such like no like 
it, it is nice to have nice things. Truly. Like, just as much as everybody else. I love earning things that I'm able to earn with my own money and such. But when you brag about that too much, like, of course, people are going to look at you some type of way. So, yeah, don't, don't be an a-hole. Don't do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But this was a cute episode. Oh, my God. It was everything I wanted. The date was, like, 10 out of 10. It's on the list of best dates of my favorite series. Because, girl, I, I mean, mm, it might even be number two. Because, of course, the Monogatari date is number one for me. That will always be number one. But this, yeah, this is a, num this is a number two. Because, I mean, it was really cute. He took her out and, and got her clothes and a comb. A cafe. This is so fucking cute. Oh, my God. I can't with this damn show. It's only episode three. Come back when we on episode ten. Oh my God, and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one, go. You. That's your mom or your dad. She has something. You just don't realize it. The way she just looked at her, ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, he just looks so damn good. Just, oh my god. Oh. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> he made me happy. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Need him. I 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 need him. Yes. Please. Oh my God. If I am just saying. So, what color you want to give them? Yeah. Oh, go good for the scare. Fuck! I'm so happy for her. Oh my god. This fucking bitch. No.
Don't listen to her, Mio. Fuck you, bitch. There is no time to think about the fucking apology. Go find your daughter and fucking apologize. You're about to walk past him now. Mm-hmm. 
finish it. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Stop, oh my god! Oh my god. He got his hair down. <laughs>
not funny. <laughs> Right. Ooh, I'm a mess right now. Yep. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I need a moment. Hold up. This was something. Hey. <laughs> you wrote a letter. Got Hannah. To come and see. Talk to her. They both did something nice for each other. Oh my god. That's true fucking love. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. And then he said when he was like, Do you not want to stay here with me? Girl, I lost it. I fucking lost it. Oh my god. Oh god, this man. This man, this man, this man, this man. Jesus Christ, this man. Oh, he a good man, Mio. He a good man. A damn good man. We gotta keep that man. We gotta keep him. We gotta keep him. Oh my god, please, Lord. Don't let her asshole the father jeopardize this relationship, please, because I need these two to stay together. Jesus. Oh, they bring the best out of each other. Jesus Christ. Like, oh my God. He didn't have to do that. I'm crying again. Oh my God. Shit. I can't do this. Oh my God. This is so me episode four. Oh my god. 
I need tissue. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think we all want a man like him. <laughs> like, oh my god. Shit. Like, the fact that he did everything in his power to, like, bring Han up. They're so, like, they can talk and have a moment together and for her to get the strength from Hana to, like, to take the gift that she made for him and to bring it to him. And, like, the fact is that she just said, I look, I need to say what I say and then whatever you tell me to do, I'll go ahead and do it. But, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm dying. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Oh my god. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, as someone who loves love, once again, but does not have the greatest luck in the department of love, like, it, it's just so good to just see a healthy relationship or healthy relationships in anime, and you're just like, God damn it, I wish I had that myself. And it's just like, when... Oh god, I can't believe I'm about to talk about this again. When the fuck... <laughs> It's not going to happen to you like yourself. It's such like, oh my god. Because like, I feel like, even till today, I feel like that will never happen to me. Like, mind you, I've had like, three boyfriends. Three. And I feel like the only one that I've only said, out of the three, I've only said I love you and really, truly meant it to like, one guy. And... If, <laughs> if you know me, and, um, you probably met him, because of course, like, this, he was on, he was a sub, we got to know each other, like, really deep connection and such, and I, I was like, oh my god, I could literally see him and be him, be with him for, like, majority of my life, but then, you know, long story short, things didn't work out and such, and... It, as I said, even with Sugar, and I talked about him a little bit in that show, and I was like, now I can, I think, at the time when me and him broke up, like, so many years ago, about, what, two, three years ago, um, I was still hurt and such, but now I can look at the videos and pictures and everything that we have together and, like, these memories that we have, and even um, <laughs> the one gift that he bought me for Valentine's Day. I, I can look at them, still smile at those memories, but just truly not feel anything and such. And so those are the times where I'm like, even now where I think maybe I'm supposed to be by myself and maybe there isn't anybody out there for me and such. But then I, I watch these and I'm like, no, there's someone out there for me. I'm like, yeah, like, you know, it, he might not be here now, but when he does come... You know, it's going to be the happiest day of my life. And oh, I'm about to cry again. <laughs> it's such. And you just, you never know, like, what the fuck is going to happen. Where you might meet someone and such. But, like, I'm so happy for her. She's getting a better fucking life. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm such a fucking mess. She's getting a better life. That she was when she was growing up after her dad did some shitty things to her. And her stepmom and her fucking sister fuck her. But like, he's just treating her so well. I'm trying to get my words across them because I'm so emotional right now. I can't. <sighs> it was just so good. That's all I'll say. I'm just happy for her. And I hope that, like, by the time this is over, like, it it's still even more happy moments. Oh, my poor hearts. <sighs> but, woo, this is too much. <laughs> you got me to cry. Like, messy cry oh my god and I hate crying I hate crying on fucking camera because I feel like I look like a mess and everybody's like I'm like oh my god I look like crap and everybody's like no it's okay <laughs> you look good I'm like no I look so ugly <sighs> I 
I think I need the I needed a damn good cry. <laughs> Oh my, just 10 out of 10. We're not even done with the show, but we definitely would recommend. Give me a man like <laughs> her husband, please God, once again, I see what you do for her. I see what you doing for her. Do it for me, do it for every girl who has sat and watched this show. And who is like, God damn it, I need a man like that in my life. Because, like, oh my God. That he is the definition of a fucking man slash husband when you look at it in the fucking dictionary. <sighs> Alright. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you to episodes three. And four of my happy marriage. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every time when I join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes five and six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.